realize what I'm saying is this, this Christian person obviously knows what verses he's talking about. Well, so he sorry, man, I'm just getting a bit caught here. You don't need um, to. You don't need to, brother. That's what I'm saying. You're getting at me saying that I'm wrong. No, oh, Wacky, wrong. what I'm saying I'm is Wacky. It's God. It's God. It's God. It's God. Oh, yeah, yeah, what's crazy. up? What, uh, what's up? What you want to talk about, Avery? No, I was just, uh, I was, I, I was hearing some stuff that I really disagreed with, uh, um, you know, with the points that you raised on why he should become a Muslim that, um, that you, that Islam, you know, teaches the same message that the, all the prophets taught. I obviously emphatically disagree with that. Um, it absolutely does all the prophets taught to worship one god alone period it's all good it's and all good let, 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 let yeah. Yeah. Him speak no, no, yeah no yeah this 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 cool back and forth I'm, I'm cool with this guys um yeah uh you know the no, bible we have a back says, and forth just let, let you know i don't want to start the whole over talk i'm not trying to do all that <laughs> I got go you, I got you. yeah uh in the book of james it even you know it says uh you believe in one god so what even the demons believe and they tremble, you know. Uh, so, but there, there's a lot of monotheistic beliefs and religions out there. Uh, that doesn't mean that you're following the true God or or the truth, the true religion. It's depth to it. There has to be more to it than that, you know. If you look at this, the Sikhs, they believe they claim believe in one God and stuff like this. They um, uh, affirm the prophets and stuff, you know. Obviously, they're heretics. But yeah, uh, but they got yeah, they, they they do have some beliefs that that we don't agree with as Muslims. So mm -hmm. so yeah, um I, I think it has to be a lot deeper than that, just teaching that there's one God, you know, that's cool and all, but I think the core thing that what you guys said that Islam teaches what the prophets taught, that's not the case at all. It it they strictly strictly goes against what um uh, Moses and David and Jesus taught like it's completely the opposite, guys. It seems, it seems like you're trying to imply Sikhism and, and, and conflate that with Islam. That's the fallacy of equivocation. No, 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 no. Sikhism is not an Abrahamic faith, number one. You know what I mean? Yeah, really. What, what what makes what makes Islam an Abrahamic faith? What do you mean? He's I'm from a, Abraham. How much it, well, the lineage. Abraham? It's a claim. You know, so it's just it's not a claim. Wait, 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 there's the genealogy, the family tree. Wait, 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 hang on. Before before we yeah, get into yeah. lineages, because I, I I'm not that learned in lineages. Uh, you know, you you said something that was quite interesting. You were saying that they didn't teach the same thing, and I beg to differ. So yeah. this is my notes here. So Matthew five seventeen. I have not come to abolish the law of the prophets, but to adhere, to fulfill, to uphold whatever words you want to use. Uh, Mark twelve twenty nine. The most important law of all the laws is the Shema Israel. Uh, hear, O Israel, your Lord thy God, your Lord is one. Matthew uh, 22, 36 through 40, this is the same story here, but they actually take this part out that I have highlighted here. This part is out of it, right? And it just says, love you, your Lord thy God, with all thy heart, all thy mind, all thy soul, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Jesus says that they may know the only true God, the Father is greater than I. Plenty of things that Jesus said to uh, for us to understand that it's a monotheistic faith and or belief system. Deuteronomy uh, 4, verse 35, or yeah, 435. Deuteronomy 6, 4, which is the Shema Israel. Deuteronomy 32, uh, verse 39. These are all, all these statements here I have compiled. These statements is, I am the one God. Uh, besides me, there is no other. I'm the only Savior. Um, uh, he is a jealous God. All these verses here, and I'm sure there's probably more, right? So, we're, you know, we don't make this this claim just haphazardly or because we think it's fun or whatever. No, this is what's in the book. So they all taught that there was only one God. Does Muhammad teach there's only one God? Absolutely. This would conform with Islam. Okay. So I also, I, also I Abraham think, never taught Abraham never taught the Trinity. <laughs> yeah, you, you, want. you know. You know, okay. And you know, Ismail and Isaac were brothers. Yeah. Muslims, Jews are cousins. <laughs> it's not it's not a fake claim. <laughs> okay. So right. let's so let's uh let's actually break this down oh, a little bit. I mean, yeah, even the Jews who you take your testament from, they allege that not even allege, they affirm that Muslims are their cousins from Ismail. Ismail. No, no, not all of them. No, <laughs> you, you have you have a select few that do that, but not 
a lot no, of money. Every That's fine. Let, let, let him let him let, rebut, let him rebut okay. these uh, verses um, that I brought up. Or, can you can you bring can you bring that that list up of verses back yeah. up? Okay, so at scroll up to the top or in the beginning of it. Mm-hmm. Um, I find it interesting that you um, <clears throat> you didn't quote five seventeen Matthew five seventeen correctly, where he says what he's he's come to fulfill the law. Um, I said fulfill. I said uphold, fulfill, or adhere. It's the same uh, thing when because when Christians say uh, uh, fulfill, hang on, hang on, because you're you're questioning me on this one word. I put adhere here. The reason I put adhere here because fulfill means to adhere to the law. When you guys say fulfill, did Jesus come with a checklist like, okay, I'm coming down just to do the Sabbath once, to worship God once, to uh, do this once and do that once, and then that's it, done away with the law? Okay. So uh, fulfill doesn't simply mean to adhere. Fulfill means to complete, to finish, to bring to its fulfillment, right? Sure. So not just to just follow it, but he completes it. So um, that that's that's a huge thing that I think that you'll be you're missing because Jesus brings us the commandments and the gospel. Do you still um, need these verses, not, or do you want to not the law of Moses? Take it up? Uh, no, you can, you, you can keep it up for now. Uh, oh, right. And so I, I just it's. It's um it's very really important that when we're having these discussions with each other, that we, you know, that we make sure that we do not talk past each other. Christians, th- this this graph here showing that there that the Bible teaches that there's one God. Good. This is what we agree with. We agree with that there is one God. Again, believing in one God doesn't mean anything. It doesn't. It's, it's good because that's the truth. But again, it means other, everything, brother. No, no, because there's other faiths that claim to believe in one God and yet are in falsehood. So that's that's what I'm saying. Like what? what it has to be. What's that? Can you give me a list of. Yeah, like, the, uh, one, one of them is the Sikh, the Sikh religion. They believe. Yeah, in they one believe God. in one God, but they they have there other beliefs be that we. You could believe it. Hang on, hang on. You just like just like a Christian, you could believe in one true God, but as soon as you start associating partners with God, like. Uh, uh, you know, Jesus is God or something like this, then if it fails. So it's okay. not monotheistic anymore. Even if okay. it is monotheistic, it's not pure monotheism. Okay. So, yeah. Um, uh, monotheism let's, let's is the belief in one God. And that's Hang on, all, let, 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 let him speak. Let him speak. Okay. Uh, monotheism is the belief in one God. That's it. The belief in one God. Now, what you yeah. believe about that one God it differs from what Christians believe about that one God, obviously. So <clears throat> it's not where it's not pure monotheism or lack of pure mono. It's monotheism or it's not. And so it's either you believe in multiple gods or you believe in one. And the Christian claim is that they believe in one. Now, when it comes to what is taught about that one God, that is what is important because that's where the differences lie. Muhammad did not teach the same thing about uh, the one God that Moses Abraham, David, and Jesus taught. Like Muhammad didn't did. teach the same things. Like, for example, uh, one of the uh, biggest ones is that uh, that he doesn't have a son. That's one of the biggest ones. Or that the children of Israel are not children of the Most High God. That's a huge thing. There is no, and, and it's not, I'm not talking in the literal sense, obviously, but in the Quran literally says it's it's in no sense, no, not figurative, metaphorically, spiritual, in no sense uh, is anyone a child of Allah, a son or daughter of Allah, in no sense, physical, literal, metaphorical, spiritual, nothing like that. Correct. However, that's taught in the in the in the uh, in the Torah with the prophets and the Tanakh, uh, the, rest of the prophets and Jesus. The yeah, God this is, is the, the God is the heavenly Father. This is the problem, though, Avery. Is that you're 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 thinking that the Torah is what you have in the in, in the in the, or in the in the Bible? That's this, what the Quran this is, says. No, it doesn't. The Quran the Quran condemns the Jews, and I'll I'll let me let me bring this this up real quick. Uh, right, these verses, most of these verses, I would say like ninety of them. These are verses about uh, the the Jews corrupting their their book. Saying mm-hmm. things about God that they had no right to say whatsoever. That's the point. So notice right. the difference. The difference here, Isa, is saying things that are not true, not corrupting the text of the book itself. They lie if, about if the I, book. 
Exactly. That's my point. Yeah, you, but they you, don't. They're, see, they're not. They're not. You're, split, you're trying to split hairs here, Avery. You're, I think it's yeah. important. No, you're splitting hairs. What you're saying is, oh, they're lying about it. They're, but that doesn't mean that the book is wrong. Yeah, it means the book is wrong because what is contained within the book is the lie. Okay, so we we had we had a discussion like this uh, before, and I'm gonna just ask you this and answer this honestly for me. If I were to lie about the Quran, does that mean that the actual Quran has been corrupted? Okay, I'll I'll answer it this way because the question should have been asked a different way. So I'll answer your question. <clears throat> if you if you took a Quran, right? I don't know Quran, nothing. You're trying to get me to become a Muslim or whatever it is that you're upon. You take pages out of the Quran that you don't really agree with. You take those out and then you say, here you go. This is the book of Allah. Has that book been corrupted? Absolutely. Has God's words been corrupted? No, they haven't because God's words are forever. Right? You can't change God's words, but you can play with the words here on this in this realm. You can take the words, you can manipulate, you can change sentences, you can omit. This is how you change the words of God. Can I change the words of God? Yes, I can. I can take the Quran right now and give a, uh, an altered Quran to someone who doesn't know about Quran, and they would believe, oh, this is the word of God. Interesting. Right? So if you if you if you take a Quran right now, give it to someone unknown unknowingly right who's ignorant of the quran you like you tamper with it a little bit you're gonna you're you're gonna say that the quran has been corrupted no exactly so we don't say the torah we don't say the torah has been corrupted i know what you're saying the torah has not been corrupted the ngo has not been corrupted but what you have in your hands as the bible has been so okay. now, now what you need to do is find me the Torah and the NGO that was given to Moses and Jesus. Please be a uh, uh, No, what you have to do is is prove to me that the gospel and Torah that I have is not the same as the Torah and the gospel that was used by the Jews and the Christians. <laughs> now, so hold on, let's. I think that we can we can narrow this down. No, 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 I, Torah, I, have, the, I have an example for you. If, if, uh, if no, you no, just... what was the was the Torah and the gospel in existence during Muhammad's time? I don't know. That's besides the point. You yeah, know, it's it is the point because we're talking about what the Quran says about the Torah and the gospel and how it's preserved no, according no, no, to no. the Quran. No, no, that's that's besides the point, bro. I don't care if it was there uh, prior to or or whatever the case might be, or was it there during the time of the Prophet Muhammad or whatever. Right. It doesn't matter if it was. The point is, this is what Allah says in the Quran. So now now you said prove to me that it's not the same. No, I no, no, no. Uh, hang on. You said you said you have to. I have to bring you evidence that it's not the same. Didn't you say that? I, I did, but first, right. So you don't want me to I'm give gonna... you that evidence. Uh, evidence. No, 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 there's there's something we have to establish first, Isa, before we jump to that. Point. No, we don't. No, we don't. I, no, we I said don't. Something before hang, I said no, that. Hang on, hang on, hang on, Avery. No, we do not, said. brother. Just give me one second, bro. One second. I'll, yeah. I'll let you say what you're gonna have to say uh, yeah. or what you want to say, but let me give you an example of what I mean. The story of Abraham, when the angels came to Abraham and the angels eating from the food that he prepared, you can find that story in the Bible, but you won't find it like that in the Quran. The Quran says that the angels did not eat from this food. Why? Because they're angels. They're not humans. So there you go. Allah corrects this understanding, because if you take this understanding, if you take this understanding, then you can say all kinds of weird stuff about uh, God and the angels later on down the line, like in the Angel. Or excuse me, the uh, the New Testament. But go ahead, finish saying what you're going to say. You brought up an example of the Abraham story, and basically your line of reasoning is the Quran says something different than what the Bible gave. Therefore, the Quran is correcting what is in the Bible. False. Yeah. That is that is the fallacy of assumption. Okay. You cannot simply be and besides the fact that it's coming 600 years later, saying that it confirms it. The Quran. No, says this isn't six hundred years Quran, later. The Quran. This is not six hundred years later. This the, is like it, almost three thousand years later. The the Quran. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, sure, yeah, you know, but just talking about the Quran itself and what it claims. It claims to confirm the Torah and the Gospel, not correct it. It claims that during the time of Muhammad, that it's true, and that the Jews and the Christians should follow it, uphold it, and recite it correctly. So, in the time of Muhammad, he claims in the Quran to confirm whatever is in the hands and possession of the Jews and Christians. Guess what was in the possession of the Jews and Christians, Isa? Give me that the verse. Give me, about, I need a verse. Give me a verse. Uh, 
Please. Sure, you got uh, chapter four, verse forty-seven. Uh, four forty-seven. Let me yeah. let me let me get there. There's a, there's quite a lot. That's okay. Yes. Yeah, and and you can bring them up to use uh, you know for your argument. Uh, okay. Let's see, four uh, verse forty-seven. Yeah. So four forty-seven basically talks about oh who you were given the book believing that we um believe in what we have revealed confirming your own um scriptures before we wipe um out your faces turning them backwards we condoned the definite as we did the sabbath breakers mm -hmm. so the last commands uh, yeah was always executed yeah so specifically it says confirming <laughs> what is with you that's what it says specifically confirming right. what is with you or else no you will turn your faces upside down. no confirming that. confirming your own scriptures in a sense where they Allah is acknowledging the fact that there's been other scriptures that have been brought down but not confirming as it being the actual truth because Islam no, it does no it's not it's it confirming no 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 it's confirming and it's acknowledging the fact that the Torah and the Bible does exist without a doubt Obviously, Islam is has done that throughout the entire Quran, but it's not confirming the actual message of it because obviously, clearly, the Quran talks about how Jesus in the day of judgment is going to be looked at, is going to have a discussion with Allah, and Allah is going to be asking Jesus, Why did you tell your people to no, worship if, you? He's going to be asking, <clears throat> if he did, Not why did he, if he did. did he's going to be asking, Did you tell? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna. Yeah, if if not, why? Yeah, Chris, thanks for correcting me. If yeah, you did tell your people that um, you claim to be the son of God, or you claim to be divine yourself as well as God, your mother. God, God, yeah, as long as, as long with. So, me. obviously, the Quran, the Quran rejects that proposition. So it's not mm -hmm. accepting what you guys have. It's obviously just acknowledging the fact that these two scriptures did exist without a doubt. And there was many other scriptures, but these two in particular. Let me address that specifically. So uh, what you did was is you just added a lot to the text where it doesn't say. And so it simply says that it confirms what is with the Jews and the Christians, what is with them, their scriptures. And so by you saying that it's not confirming the message of those scriptures, that's false. The Quran does confirm that message. In fact, it tells them that they have nothing to stand on unless they uphold the scriptures that they possess in, in their hands. Now, if you're talking about this now um, with confirmation, not just the, the two scriptures, but, it, you know, it talks about the Psalms and everything, everything, all the prop writings of the prophets that's with them. It says what is with them. You know what I mean? And so uh, you cannot separate it confirming the message yet, or confirming that there are scriptures that exist yet not the message. That doesn't make sense. The well, what does it say? Definitely affirms the message in them. It says it's a guidance in life. The Torah oh, who you were given, oh, who you were given a book, believe in what we have revealed. Confirming your own scriptures. Confirming what, what does it say? You. No, it doesn't say with you. It says confirming your own scripture. Read the Arabic, please. Read the Arabic so that we oh, don't have any English translations. Do you know the Arabic? Arabic? The... I've uh, studied Avery, do you know the Arabic? Arabic? I've studied it on this verse. So I, mm. I could pull it up and go through it word by word. One second, sorry. Um, Bismillah. What's this? 447. Mm-hmm. So confirm. We have revealed confirming. Confirming. Yep. What is with you, right? What is with you? Yes. No, but that doesn't wait, hold on. Okay, let me uh, give me one second. Let me just read Tough Shade of Kathir on this real quick. Let me uh, put it up. Confirming what <laughs> with you. Hang on, hang on. Uh Adam, one second. So this is Tough Shade of Kathir on and you can see it up top is Surah An Nisa mm -hmm. four fifty four uh forty seven. Calling the people, this is like the little title, right? So, like calling the people of the book to embrace the faith, warning them. Uh, I don't know what happened to God logic, warning them against uh, doing otherwise. I'll read it real quick while uh, he'll probably come back. Allah says, Oh, you who have been okay, he just came back. 
It says here, O oh, you who have been given the scripture, Jews and Christians, believe in what we have revealed, confirming that which is with you. Right? So he's saying to believe in the Quran, what has been revealed. Mm -hmm. This Quran is confirming that which is with you. Agreed. Confirming doesn't mean that it's saying this is correct or, or otherwise. It doesn't That's mean really that. what confirm means. Okay. That's, that's literally what confirm means to confirm. It's, no, it's saying, okay, someone's saying that they have the in jail. Okay, great. I confirm that. Yep. It's confirming no, that. No, 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 no. That's not what did it is. say. Did it say that he's confirming what you have with you? And yes, everything yes. is in the correct and all that. It, well, God yes. logic. You don't know Arabic. You don't. Th this is what I'm saying. You're saying yes as if yes, this is exactly what it means. No, it, you don't know anything about this stuff. Okay. I'm just reading the, the English. This is exactly what I took of it when I read it. I, I, okay. Yeah. It confirms it. What does that mean? Yes. So what, what does it mean? Not, tell, tell us. Yeah, I got, I got you. I got you. No problem. Okay. So uh, the Quran always talks about how the Torah and the gospel, the Psalms, the writings of the scriptures, that's with the Jews and Christians is guidance and light. And it's something that they should uh, judge by. It's something that they should uphold. And it's something that they should recite correctly or else they would be among those who are rebellions or losers against Allah. And so this right here, when you, first of all, to confirm something, when you have something that's confirming another thing, con to confirm literally means to, uh, like, like you're witnessing that it's true. That's what confirming means, is that I, you attest that it is true. And so this, this is, this is, let me just finish, let me just land this. No, it's definitely. This, this is one of, this oh, is finish, one of the finish. proofs, this is one of the proofs of Muhammad's prophethood. One of the proofs of Muhammad's prophethood <laughs> Is that he his Quran is confirming what is already with the Jews and Christians? That's why they should believe in him. The, they have no they have no grounds to deny Muhammad as a prophet because of the Torah and the Gospel confirms is confirmed by the Quran. That's one of the proofs Muhammad presents. Like I'm I'm on y'all's side, you know. I, I've been sent down with a message that confirms y'all's message. I'm not saying anything different from what you guys have mm. been given. That's his. That's one of his proofs that he's a prophet to them. That's why yeah, Allah get, is so strict. Get, 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 uh, you gotta believe this. This isn't towards you, uh, Avery. Uh, Aulia, I, I want to know where you're saying that I'm wrong. You're saying that I'm wrong. The Christian is right. I didn't say that he was wrong. I didn't say he was wrong. I said his understanding is incorrect. Right. But yes, it is confirming what came before. What's with them? What are we you what are you talking about? Are you causing fitna? It seems like you're causing fitna. Hey you guys, I gotta dip out. All right, Cornelius. All right, take, take care, Cornelius. All right, touch, I, I don't I don't I don't get what, what, what you're saying, right, Alia. Like yep. No, I'm reading it now. It says we have revealed confirming what is with you from before. Hang on, let, let, I want to hear. I want to hear uh, uh, what Aliyah has to say. Wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam. Do you think it's necessary? Uh, I don't know what happened. I just want to know, like, does he think it's necessary to uh, accidentally push the back button like me? Yeah, no, it's all good. But does he? Does is it necessary for him to? Oh, brother, you're wrong. You're you're wrong, brother. You're wrong. He's right. What the hell are you talking about? Am I denying the verses of the Quran? Assalamualaikum. Yep. Can you hear me, Akhi? Yeah, I can hear you. Akhi, it's some Abu Mujahid from the other night, Akhi. I'm trying to just correct one thing in it here. Yeah, yeah but brother, you're, you're going crazy in the comments. Akhi, because what I'm saying is this, this Christian person obviously knows what verses he's talking about. He's He's gone through these before. He's studied these before. He's got an agenda. He, he, so oh. I understand that, brother. Trust me, I know what so, he does. So sorry, man. I'm just getting a bit caught here. You don't need um, to. You don't need to, brother. That's what I'm saying. You're getting at me saying that I'm wrong. No, oh, Ahi, you're wrong. what I'm saying I'm not is, wrong. Ahi, if the verse is just tell me, just, just tell me, just tell me about the verse, please. Naam, musaddiqan lima ma'akum. Okay. Hmm. Confirming what is with you. Yes. What is with them? What is with them is that Muhammad is in their scripture, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So yes, they do have truth in their scripture once when that verse was revealed. Yeah. 
So that's we what don't I was saying, deny brother. that. I just okay. didn't say anything. So why are we saying, oh, there's not truth, there's not truth, this, that, this? Okay. I you didn't say, say that. that there wasn't truth. I said, bro, Come what on, I okay. said was, listen to me very carefully. What I no, said no. was, yo, Avery, relax. What I said was, confirming doesn't mean that it's saying this is correct or, or otherwise. It doesn't that's mean really that. really what confirm means. It's yeah. saying, okay, someone's saying that they have the NGO. Okay, great. I confirm that. Yep, it's confirming no, that. No. That. Allah is confirming what in, in what was revealed, the Quran, confirming what is with them. It doesn't right. mean that it's confirming everything that they have. Right, and what is with them, yes, is that Muhammad sallam, is in the scripture. Okay, great. Who, but did, did I say it wasn't? I, I never said Ahi, it wasn't. The other person was saying, no, it doesn't mean this, it doesn't mean... Ahi, that's not the are. way we, you know, discuss the Quran. Mm -hmm. um, but now it is... Um, as long as that's clarified, what is with them is that Muhammad وسلم, is in their scripture, was in their scripture at the time that the verse was revealed. That was confirmed and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was confirming that. So why do you not believe, O people of the scripture, O Jews, O Christians, when you know that Muhammad is in your scriptures and now he's <laughs> arrived? Why do you not believe? Because Avery's right? trying to say, Avery's trying to say that what was with them, it wasn't corrupted. It wasn't corrupted. Yeah, Correct. but just, everything um, everything was intact. So, is what he's saying. Correct. If no, that was no. the case, then then what's the point of everything that Allah was saying in the Quran about how they twist the scripture? Yeah, but musaddiqan lima ma'akum ma ma'akum. What is with you? Ma can mean what what anything. Which thing is with you? The thing that is with you. That's why when we go to the seer, we find out what that thing is, and that thing is Muhammad. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. See, that's why we go to the tafsir. Mm. But let this Christian manipulate whatever he's got his games, he's going to do that at the end of the day. No, no, but no, but what no, but look here at the end of the day, whether your you know your agenda is clear, it's very clear, okay, what you're trying to do here. So you know Okay, so you're trying to do is flip things on the brother. Let me put the let me put this up. Let me let me finish reading the tafsir. This is what I'm saying. This is why I like going to Tafsir of Kathir when people bring up verses, especially with verses that I haven't really like understood. Uh salamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, Aliyah. Just just have a little more uh faith in in me, brother. Like I I wasn't saying that that what you what you were saying is wrong. I just didn't mention that um because I didn't know that I hadn't read the whole thing, but it but yes, he is correct, right? So believe, so believe in what was revealed to you, confirming what is with you. Allah commands the people of the scripture to believe in what he has sent down to his servant and messenger, Muhammad, in the glorious book that conforms to the good news that they already have about Muhammad. So yes, Aliyah is correct here. Um, and this is what I'm saying. This doesn't mean, this doesn't mean that he's, that Allah is saying everything that they have with them is 100% correct. If that was the case, then he would have never said that the book was corrupted. But because even if, even if the books hadn't been corrupted, even if, we would still reject them in, in insofar as that we wouldn't adhere to them. Sorry, not reject them. We wouldn't adhere to them. We would adhere to the Quran. We would still believe in the Torah. Even if you had everything correct in the Torah, the Angel, the Psalms, we would say, yes, this is from God. Uh, we accept and we believe in the prophets, but we will still adhere to the Quran. You have to. Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that even in, in the Hadith, saying that that uh, even if uh, uh, Moses was here at the, at, the, at the time, when he came, he would have no choice but to follow Muhammad, peace be upon both of them. Mm -hmm. it, it, make, okay. it makes perfect sense. Okay, so let me go ahead and give a, a, a response to this now. So, um, yeah, I, I don't disagree with uh, what the tafsir is saying when it comes to the verses about revelation and things of this nature and they should Muhammad's in their scriptures that's why the Quran is saying you should believe in Muhammad because it, it confirms what's in your scriptures your scriptures already for to, to, to you know tell about him now continuing on though it's not just limited to that because the Quran confirms the stories that's in the Torah and the gospel. It confirms the events that are in the Torah and the gospel. It talks about all of these things. Now, addressing what you're saying, Isa, simply because, uh, no, no, you know, you're saying that it's the Quran is saying that the book has been corrupted. No, it does not. It does not say that the book has been corrupted. I just gave no, you like two. No, every, no, every time that you mention that they twist the words with their tongues, they 
misinterpret the text. They lie about the text. That is not changing the text itself. That's just them lying about it. Same way, if you were to lie about the Quran, you would not say that the actual Quran has been corrupted. So you have to be consistent here. So okay. that's not what that means that the actual text has been corrupted. If you want to go to two, chapter two, verse seventy nine, we can go there because that, the data doesn't even say so, that the Quran yeah. has been corrupted. I got you. Do you hope that they will believe in uh, in you when some of them used to hear the word of God and they deliberately distort it, even on, even after understanding it? Seventy six. And when they came across those who believe, they say, "We believe." But when came when they came together. Privately, they say, will you inform them of what God has disclosed to you so that they might dispute with you concerning it before your Lord? Do you not understand? Verse 77, um, do they not know that God knows what they conceal and what they reveal? Right? Because they they are known for doing this, for twisting the scripture because they're hypocrites. And Jesus even calls them hypocrites. If you would have believed Moses, you would have believed me because he wrote about me. But because you don't believe in Moses, how can you believe what I say? Because these people were hypocrites. Good. These so are the Jesus same still- people. Yeah, so Jesus hang assumed on. that they was able to read the Torah, read what Moses said, and then believe in him, right? No, hang on, hang on. Jesus mentioned this to the uh, Pharisees to call them out on their hypocrisy because mm-hmm. outwardly they looked righteous, but they weren't righteous, right? Agreed. So they were hypocrites. They truly didn't believe in Moses. They didn't. This is exactly. why he said, if you would believe Moses, then you would believe me because he because wrote about he me, wrote but because about you don't me. believe Moses. So, so right. if they were to read what Moses said and believed him, so Jesus directed them back to the Torah, right? Yeah. Back to what the writings of Moses. So Jesus assumed that the Torah was intact and available at his time for them Who cares? to go ahead and verify his own coming, correct? That, that's besides the point because we're talking about 600 years after, okay. right? Yeah, what it, happened? It's, it's kind of because you, you related it to this, to what? What's going on the same way with Muhammad? What I'm saying is that there's hypocrites who have been doing this. The hypocrites who are in leadership, those who who uh, dispense the Torah, right? These people are the ones who yeah. reveal and conceal. They yeah, lie, they twist, they distort. I agree. I agree. Right. That. The, so but Jesus not, not is text. right. So Jesus is telling them, um, you know, Moses wrote about me, mm-hmm. but yet you deny me. Mm-hmm. But that means that you don't really believe Moses because if you do believe Moses, then you would believe me. I What's that got to do with anything? Yeah. So, so that, Eastern, that would I, be the same thing as the Prophet Muhammad saying that to to the Christians and the Jews. I agree hey, exactly. If you would believe Jesus, then you would believe me because he exactly. wrote about me. Yes. But because you don't believe in Jesus, how can you believe in Muhammad? Yes. So that's exactly what's going on here in the Quran. That's the consistent message in the Quran is that these people, some of them, not all of them, because it says some of them, it's a party of them. Yeah, we would uh, never say that them, it's all the Jews. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So some of them are are hiding you know the what's revealed the distorting the meanings distorting the words the stuff like that right and yet <clears throat> that's not assuming that the actual text is corrupted but it's just the people distorting and lying about what the text actually says just like where jesus says if you believed moses for who he wrote about me you would have believed you would believe me he's say, he, he knows that they're corrupting and distorting the meanings and everything like that but that doesn't mean that the actual so, text has been corrupted. So what exactly? So I understand what you're saying. Okay. Now I get it. So what he so what God logic is saying, guys, is that the corruption and the distortion and the lies is only by mouth. The actual text is preserved. Okay, great, great. Oh my god. Logic.